Hello, my name's Stuart, aka The Pedaling Pianist, and in this video I'll be explaining what I call the third secret of yin-yang. Ever since my dad and I learned this secret, we found it very helpful both for solving and setting puzzles, most notably Balanceo, linked in the description below, which relies on this secret for its break-in. Officially, Balanceo was a collaborative effort, but my dad crafted the vast majority of it, so I'm sure it would mean a lot to him if you can check it out after watching this video. In a standard yin-yang puzzle, you must assign every cell in the grid with one of two colours, sometimes called shaded and unshaded, but I'll go with blue and grey, such that each colour forms one orthogonally connected region and no 2x2 two two area is entirely one colour. You'll have noticed that I've drawn 64 black and white dots in a chessboard pattern on the points in the grid where cell borders intersect, or in other words, at the centre of every 2x2 two two area. I've done this because I'm going to claim that in any correctly completed yin-yang pattern, if you were to draw a line dividing yin from yang wherever they neighbour each other, you would create one single line that passes through all 64 of these black and white dots exactly once each. The clearest way to prove that every dot must be visited once each is by considering how many line segments can emerge from a dot based on the impact on the surrounding 2x2 two two area. Remember that not only does a line segment imply that the cells either side of it have opposite colouring, but also the absence of a line segment implies that the neighbouring cells are the same colour. If no line segments emerge from the dot, the absence of any line implies that all cells in the 2x2 two two area are the same colour, which is not allowed in yin-yang. If an odd number of line segments emerge from the dot, then a contradiction will be reached where two cells must simultaneously have the same and opposite colouring. If four line segments emerge from the dot, a checkerboard pattern is created. A much more commonly known secret of yin-yang states that this is impossible because forming an orthogonal connection for one of the colours necessarily isolates the other. Therefore, the only valid number of line segments that can emerge from a dot is two. Another way to think of this is that every dot must be passed through exactly once, as I claimed earlier. Hopefully it's clear that the line must always travel orthogonally. A diagonal movement would split a cell in two and require it to be both colours simultaneously. Because of the checkerboard layout of black and white dots, this means that the line will always be travelling from a white to a black dot, or vice versa. The line can end in one of two ways. It can join to itself and form a closed loop, making the entire perimeter of the grid the same colour, but the more interesting case is when the perimeter is split and the line meets two points on the edge of the grid. In this case, rather than all dots existing on a continuous loop, there exists on the line a first dot and a 64th dot. 1 and 64 are different parities, and so, because of the alternating pattern of black and white dots resulting from the orthogonal movements of the line, these end dots must be opposite colours. In other words, you can never travel from the first dot to the last using only diagonal steps or bishop's moves between dots. You can conclude from this that where there are two colours in the perimeter, the number of edge cells, not necessarily corner cells, of each colour must be odd. I personally find it easier to check the validity of a yin-yang perimeter using the bishop's move trick on the dots rather than counting the number of edge cells of each colour, but both methods are effectively analysing the same thing, and therefore they both work. It's worth noting that this conclusion doesn't apply in any grids of size m by n where m and n are both even. In fact, the opposite applies. For example, in a 6x6 grid, there are 25 dots on our internal chessboard, which I have coloured with 13 white dots and 12 black dots. In order to pass through every dot once each, the line must therefore start and end on white dots, which can be joined by a series of bishop's moves. This means that a closed loop is never possible, so the perimeter must change colours, but it can never change colour at a point that would cause the line to hit a black dot first, like this. Hopefully you found this video useful and it's inspired you to have a go at Balanceo, and maybe even set your own yin-yang puzzle. Thanks for watching.